Alright students, now this is your third video today. We're going to learn about, let me see, we just finished water and changes of state. So the next unit is water cycle. Look what I have here. Okay, I'm expecting rain. It's been raining uh, the last couple of days. But where did, where did the water come from? Where did rain come from? Okay, this is what we're going to find out today. Now in water cycles, before we go into water cycles, uh, I want you to just look at this diagram here. Now this is the water bodies. Uh, water bodies are the seas, the reservoirs, the rivers. Okay, and in water cycles, there are two processes that you need to remember. Okay, now first, let's look at the diagram. When the sun heats up the earth and the sea, can you see this? What is happening now is water gains heat, changes its state from liquid to gaseous, basically evaporation occurs. So water turns into water vapor. As evaporation, as the air goes, goes up to the higher atmosphere, it, it moves to, when, when it gets colder up there, condensations occur. Basically, water vapor changes itself to water droplets. Okay, and water droplets forming the clouds. Okay, and of course, uh, when the clouds gather, precipitation, which is another word for raining, uh, precipitation will occur. Okay, so in water cycles, the two processes that you need to remember is first, evaporation, second, condensation. Let me just go through with you this one more time. Okay, when the sun heats up the water bodies, the water bodies gain heat, and you know that when water gains heat, it will change its state. So the water changes its state from liquid state to gaseous state. Okay, and turns into water vapor. Water vapor will slowly rise up and up and up. When it rises up to the higher, to the atmosphere, uh, colder atmosphere, it comes into contact with the cooler atmosphere. It loses heat and condenses itself into water droplets. Okay, so evaporation and condensation. When it turns into water droplets, tiny water droplets, basically what is formed is the clouds. So the clouds are actually water droplets. Okay, when, when all the water droplets start gather together, you see that the clouds start turning dark. When we, when we see dark clouds, we know that it's going to rain. The reason why the clouds are dark is because it's uh, heavy with uh, all the tiny water droplets gathering together. So what's going to happen next is basically just precipitation or rather rain will occur. Okay, when the rain occurs, okay, it falls back to the earth, it falls back to the river, it falls back to the reservoirs. Okay, some of the rain may go into the soil, we call it the groundwater, okay, and it flows back to the ocean. Okay, and this cycle goes on and on, it goes in the daytime, and water cycle occurs at night as well. Okay, it's, it's, it's not uh, your specific timing. You can see it right now in this diagram, it's night time. Okay, but water cycle occurs, occurs at, the same, at the same time, you know, day and night. And it will go on and on and on. Okay, so for today's lesson, please remember to, to uh, processes, evaporation and condensation. And why, why, uh, what is the main energy that, that allows water cycle to occur? Okay, the, the main source of energy is actually the sun. The sun provides the heat for the water bodies to gain heat and turns itself into water vapors. Okay, that's one. And also, I want you to remember that uh, why, why water cycle is important to us because water cycle provides okay, a continuous, uh, fresh supply of water. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. And thank you for the video. Thank you.